guys, it's Tiny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a video using my most hated makeup. I've got a bunch of products which, to be honest, I haven't used in a long time just because I didn't really, I wasn't that crazy about them when I used them. So they've kind of just gone to the back of my cupboard and I haven't really seen them for unfortunately a few years which most of these should probably be thrown out. All these products, I don't think I've even shown these in like any other videos I've done so yeah they're not really used much at all. Can we just appreciate that my scrunchie is matching my shirt as well? Thank you. Um okay so first up I think I'll start with the face. So first primer. This primer I actually used to love, I used to use it all the time, however I think I loved it because everyone else loved it, is the Benefit uh, Professional um, Primer and I do think that it's a really good primer but like any makeup or skincare product um, they work better on different skin types and like don't get me wrong I do like it but it's not a good primer for my dry skin. I find that sometimes when I put foundation on over the top it um, flakes a little bit because obviously this is more of a mattifying primer and when you're not that oily it's not going to do much for you. So yeah good primer but not for me. <laughs> foundation, it's the Bobbi Brown Long Wear Even Finish Foundation. I used to literally use this foundation every single day and I remember at work one day like this girl was like oh that foundation is literally like your perfect um, foundation like that is you and I did agree like I loved it but lately I feel like I can get more coverage from um, or the same coverage from other foundations which aren't as heavy. I hope this color matches me. Oh yeah. I haven't worn this in so long. Like I can get um, the same coverage from my Clinique Beyond Perfecting and it's not as um, heavy and thick on the skin. I remember it having more coverage than this. Actually it looks nice on camera. Oh, you can kind of, you can still see all of my dark spots from my breakout. And a breakout I've got here. Now concealer. I've got two concealers here. I might even use both. First one is the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. I'm sure you guys heard about this like a couple years ago. It blew up. It was so popular. Again, I just bought this because everyone else was using it, not because it was good for me or my skin or, I, or that I needed it. I probably bought this when I was maybe like 15 or 16. And like, I wouldn't have had any problem areas that I needed to really use concealer let's be real like my skin was pretty good when I was in high school and for me to buy the paint pot is ridiculous because this is so full coverage so I'll pop this on my eyelids just a very thin layer though I mean I think it's a great product but um it is very thick to be fair and I just think that I've got for my skin I don't need something this thick um, it's a nice product but I also just prefer to use like a, a sponge tip applicator like the ones you pull out so I think it's more of just also a packaging thing that I don't like about it um, and then the other concealer which I'll use to highlight my t-zone is <laughs> I feel bad saying this because I used to love this so much um, it's the Maybelline um, fit me concealer I, get that there. I do like this concealer but I feel like it does nothing anymore like I used to use it all the time um, and it's a nice smooth um, lightweight formula but I just I think for me now I prefer um, more coverage with my concealer and less coverage with my foundation um, which is probably why I used to love this um, because I didn't really need to cover much um, but now that I've got a lot of um, dark spots from my scarring I need 
something a little bit better. Actually, you know what? I do like this now that I'm blending it out, but I just don't reach towards using it anymore. Um, I think it's just a case of I found stuff that works better for my skin. As for powder, oh, surprise, surprise, this is another product I used to love but don't really love anymore. Um, it is the Too Faced uh, Born This Way eth Ethereal Setting Powder. I've definitely said that wrong. It was actually the first ever loose powder I had purchased. So I didn't have any expectations at all. I didn't know what to compare it to. I I still think it's an okay powder, but I find that it has a little bit of like a yellow tone to it. So it's not completely invisible. I used it in a video. I can't remember which one. Well, that's a lot. Um, and I noticed when I was editing, when I put the powder underneath my eyes, there was just like a white cast. Okay, and so just quickly fill in my eyebrows. I don't really have a product that I hate um, for my brows, so I'm just going to quickly fill it in with the precise, Precisely My Brow Pencil. Just quickly do that off camera. Okay, so brows are filled in. Um, so moving on to eyes, I'm just going to do a nice um, like natural look, I think. Now, I bought this palette like maybe a year ago or a year and a half ago. Um, it is the Zoeva Naturally Yours Eyeshadow Palette and it just looks like this here. I really like the colours in it. I just thought it was nice and wearable. It had some cool tones in it as well, which I don't normally go for. I think it's not a bad palette. It's just there are better palettes out there. Um, I might just go in with... I kind of want to do a purple eye look, but there's no transition colour. I'll just go in with this um, brown shade here. From memory, I actually really liked this colour. It was a lot more pigmented. Actually, that's right. The mattes in this palette are really nice. Um, it was the shimmers that I didn't like. That actually looks really nice. There's a lot of fallout in the pan though. Um, what I might do, I just know it's not going to have much pigment, so I'm going to go in with my finger. So I'm going to take this um, like purpley shimmer shade um, and just pop that on the outer half of my eyelid. Is it just me or does that not look purple at all? Just ignore that I've got under there. <laughs> I just find they're not very true to colour. And then I might just take the shade next to it, Smooth Harmony, this one here, and do that on my like inner half. I'm just going to take that big brush for some reason and go under my eye. Why did I use this brush? I don't know. Mm, I just don't want to work with it anymore. Eh, that's it. <laughs> um. Okay, next up is mascara. So I got the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. Um, I just don't find it does much. I don't really lean towards using this because it doesn't give me much um, volume. Um, so that's the eyes finished. We'll go back to the face. Okay, now I've got two different bronzers here. First is the Milani Baked Bronzer. I loved this the first few times I used it and now it's as if there was only pigment on the top surface. Just not, nothing really comes off. Like it just looks like plastic. So I feel like there's nothing there. The other one I've got is the um, Heartbreaker Baked Bronzer by Sports Girl. It's like a take from the um, Too Faced bronzers I think. Um, and it's like a highlight, literally packed full of shimmer. That is the bronzer. It literally looks like a highlight. Before I started filming this video, I literally checked the packaging. So I was like, maybe I got a highlight instead. But um, what's funny is I love a shimmery bronzer, but this is like glitter. And it doesn't even like bronze the skin. Like that did nothing. Take some up here. Yay, now I've got highlight on my forehead. That is not nice. 
Marseille. Then, contour, Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. I feel like it's a weird palette because I know they want this like as a setting powder, but I feel like you're buying this because you want the contour stuff. So this I have like not touched. The highlight is shocking. It's just like a white pink powder with glitter in it. Um, and then the contour shades itself, like not too bad, but like why would someone use medium cocoa and the dark cocoa? Like, I, I guess they're trying to get you to use that as a bronzer, but I don't know. I actually really do like this contour itself, but I just don't use the palette because it's so big and I don't use anything else in it. Now, blush, I have the Milani Baked Blush. I actually like the formula, I just don't like the color quite orange on me which is my fault but this strange enough is like more pigmented than the um oh my gosh it looks so bad <laughs> this is more pigmented than the bronzer oh my gosh I look like a clown I literally hardly put any on my brush then I'm actually trying to make this look good too oh it was looking okay up until Why? Oh my gosh. Nah, let's forget that. Moving on. <laughs> highlight. This was the first ever highlight I purchased. And I, to be honest, I think just because I've had it for so long, it's not, it's kind of probably expired and it just isn't the way it used to be. It's the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder. It's just like this very white highlight. It's nice, but really not that pigmented for Hourglass. Like, I thought Hourglass would be the bomb.com. I'm just pop a little bit in my inner corner. Um, okay, and last up is lips. Now, um, I really like Marc Jacobs products, but I just find this to be quite sticky on my lips. Um, again, just a preference thing. I just don't like the formula. I feel like it's a bit patchy. Like, look at my... Look at that. You can see where it starts and stops. Maybe that's my dry lips, but it just... I don't think it should look that way when it goes on straight away. Um, so... That brings us to this look yeah uh, the blush mmm I feel like a clown um yeah I did enjoy filming this all in all I actually have realized that all of these products aren't as bad as I remember them to be um, and hopefully I can get some more use out of all of them um, but yeah, as I've mentioned with most of these products, I've found other products that I love more now, so there's really no point in me using them. Yeah, it was good to go back to the old days and <laughs> see what I used to use on my skin. But yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I really hope you have enjoyed watching today's video, and if you have, please give it a like thumbs up whatever it is and also subscribe um, I'm so close to 50 followers and I what's the date today it's the 6th of May and I wanted 50 followers by June so please 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 subscribe if you aren't already um, otherwise I will see you in my next video bye